mini wheats nobody likes them but for some reason they're popular we've got my favorite pops 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 very popular and finally we've got fruit loops the crazy bird loops okay so now let's put this backward belongs and let's see what we've got here all right so I've got five different types of cereal and I want to know which one is the healthiest for me to eat all right I want to be powerful and strong I want to know which which one of these cereals should I eat to maximize my health benefits, all right? Now, to answer that question, I need one thing. You guessed it, it's statistics, folks. Now, to answer any statistics question, we need five different things. Let me list them. Who, what, where, when, and why. Who, that's gonna be the cereal boxes. It doesn't have to be a person, it could be something inanimate, okay? In the case of an inanimate object, we might call the who a case or an experimental unit instead of a subject or a participant or a respondent. What? The what of this experiment or the statistics question are going to be the different variables I measure for each box. So for example, let's say I'm looking at the POPs box. The different variables I can measure to understand if it's healthy are the amount of calories it has, the amount of sugar it has, whether it has vitamin C or not, and finally, if it's recyclable or not, and who its manufacturer is for, uh, for, uh, for the sake of it. All right, so those are the different variables I'm going to be measuring. Why? What's the why of this statistics question? The why is I want to know which cereal is healthiest to eat. Where? In our studio. And when? Right now, folks. Alright, so now let's, let's get rid of all of these and let's take a look at only one of these cereal boxes. My favorite, Pops. Alright, All right, so I want to look at the different variables we're going to be taking a look at and we're going to be classifying each of these variables. So, as I said before, the different variables are calories, amount of sugar, is it recyclable, does it have vitamin C, and manufacturer. So those are the five variables we'll be looking at. All right, folks, let's go ahead and write them down on the board. Whoa, caught me by surprise there, folks. Well, right now, we're going to go ahead and write down all of the variables we're going to be taking a look at for each of the cereals to know which one is the most healthy. Let's go ahead and write them down on the board. Alright folks, so now we've written down all of the variables we'll be taking a look at for each one of the cereal boxes. We have number of calories, number of sugars, the manufacturer of the cereal, is it recyclable or not, which is a yes or no question, does it have vitamin C or not, which is also a yes or no question. Now we have to classify these variables as either one of two types. We've got categorical variables or qualitative, or we've got quantitative variables. Let's go ahead and classify these out. Alright folks, so now I've written down the two categories, the two types of variables, categorical and quantitative. Now can you guess which one of these variables fall under categorical and which ones fall under quantitative? If you can't, that's totally fine because we still haven't defined these two types. Let's go ahead and define them. A categorical variable is a variable which categorizes data, well, which is pretty evident, right? That could be a yes or no question. For example, a poll worker might ask, are you voting for Biden or are you voting for Trump? 
Okay, so if you say you're voting for Biden, you'd fall under the Biden category. If you say you're voting for Trump, you'd fall under the Trump category. All right, that's a categorical variable. What about a quantitative one? Well, let's go ahead and write it down. All right, folks, well, a quantitative variable is a variable that usually has units, all right? Go ahead and watch our video on SI units if you don't know what I mean. It also has a measured quantity, right? So, for example, a quantitative variable could be the number of laptops a household owns. That's quantitative because it has units, it can be measured, and you can do stuff like it, such as analyze patterns and trends. On the other hand, with categorical variables, you can only count the number of cases or the number of individuals in each category. Whereas with quantitative variables, you can actually find trends. You can analyze patterns. Let's go ahead and classify all of these variables about the serial box in either one of these two categories. Can you go ahead and guess which ones fall under which category? Go ahead. I'll give you some time. All right, let's go ahead and write them down, folks. Number of calories, that's gonna be quantitative because it has units, right? And it can be measured. So number of calories, that's out of the way. Let's cross it out. Move on to number of sugar or amount of sugar. Well, the amount of sugar is gonna be what? That's also gonna be quantitative because it has units, right? Sugar has units, grams, that's an SI unit, right? So that's going to be a quantitative variable, number of sugars or amount of sugar. All right, let's cross that out. Next up is the manufacturer. Now, manufacturer, as you probably can guess, is going to be categorical. It can be, I don't know, Nike, uh, I don't know, Target, something like that, right? So that's going to fall under categorical. Manufacturer, manufacturer. Interesting word, interesting word. That's out of the way. Let's move on to recyclable, yes or no. Well, typically when you have yes or no questions, that's always gonna be categorical. Is it recyclable? Yes, it falls under this row, this column. Is it not recyclable? It falls under that column. Well, that's how it works. So, recyclable or not is gonna fall under the categorical, the categorical column. And finally, our final question is, does the cereal have vitamin C or not? All right, if it does, it falls under that column. If it doesn't, it falls under this one. You can probably guess where this is going. It's gonna be categorical. All right, folks, now we've categorized all five of the variables you're looking at as either categorical and quantitative. Now, if I just collect some data on the categorical and quantitative variables, I'll be sure to know which cereal is healthiest. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. And that concludes lecture number two of statistics.